Non-Citizen Registration and Voting In this presentation, we will discuss non-citizen registration and voting in San Francisco's upcoming November 8, 2022 school board election. This kind of voting is sometimes called EDU voting, which refers to the fact that while certain non-citizen San Franciscans can vote, they can only participate in local school board contests and not in any other local, state, or federal contests. During this presentation, we will review EDU voting legislative history, as well as the registration process, voting options, and resources available to EDU voters. EDU voting legislative history. In November 2016, San Francisco voters passed Proposition N, which permitted non-citizen voting in school board elections on a temporary basis. Proposition N extended voting rights in San Francisco school board elections to non-citizen residents of San Francisco who were of legal voting age, not in prison for a felony conviction, and who were parents, legal guardians, or legally recognized caregivers of children under the age of 19 living in San Francisco. Then, in May 2018, the Board of Supervisors adopted Ordinance Number 128-18 requiring the Department of Elections to develop registration forms and other voting materials for non-citizen voters, with a specific important notice that any information provided to the department could be obtained by the federal government. Finally, in 2021, the Board of Supervisors passed Ordinance Number 206-21, making Proposition N permanent for all future school board elections. To be eligible to register to vote as an EDU voter, a person must be a non-citizen resident of San Francisco, at least 18 years old on election day, and the parent, legal guardian, or caregiver of a child under the age of 19 who also resides in San Francisco, and cannot be imprisoned for a conviction of a felony or currently found by a court to be mentally incompetent to vote. EDU Important Notice EDU voter registration forms contain the required important notice, available in 48 languages, as well as the EDU eligibility checklist. Any eligible non-citizen can obtain an EDU voter registration form by calling the Department of Elections at 415-554-4375, at sfelections.org ncv, or in person at the department's office, room 48 in City Hall. Eligible non-citizens should not use a California voter registration card because that form requires an attestation of U.S. citizenship. Registration Deadline An EDU registrant may return their EDU voter registration form by mail, postage paid, or in person by October 24, 2022. After that date, any eligible non-citizen can still register and vote, but must do so in person at the City Hall Voting Center or at a neighborhood polling place up through Election Day using a process called Conditional Voter Registration. EDU Registration Expiration EDU registrants must be aware that EDU registration is only valid for a single election. That means if an EDU voter was registered to vote in the February 15, 2022 school board recall election or any previous school board elections, they will need to submit a new registration form if they wish to participate in the November 8, 2022 school board election. EDU election materials. After processing an EDU voter registration form, the department will mail an EDU voter notification letter to the registrant within a week. In addition, in early October, the department will mail a school board election booklet in English, Chinese, Spanish, and Filipino to every non-citizen registrant. The booklet will also be available online at sfelections.org slash portal slash ncv. The EDU booklet will include information about the voting process along with a sample ballot that each EDU registrant can use to practice marking their choices before marking their official EDU ballot. EDU Ballot The one-card EDU ballot contains only the school board contest and no other local, state, or federal contests. All EDU ballots are multilingual, with instructions appearing in English, Chinese, Spanish, and Filipino. Voters who prefer to mark their ballot using the accessible vote-by-mail system may do so by visiting sfelections.org slash ncvaccess. 
EDU voting options. The department will offer the same three voting options to EDU voters as it offers to other voters, voting by mail, voting at the City Hall Voting Center starting October 11th, and voting at polling places on Election Day, November 8th. EDU voting by mail. Around October 10th, every registered EDU voter will receive a vote by mail ballot packet with an official ballot, voting instructions, an I voted sticker, and a postage paid return envelope. Marked EDU ballots can be returned to the City Hall Voting Center, to any of San Francisco's official ballot drop boxes, or to any local polling place. For locations of official ballot drop boxes, voters can go to sfelections.org slash ballot drop off or contact the department. EDU vote by mail reminders. Those who plan to vote by mail must remember that ballots returned by mail can only be counted if they are postmarked by Election Day, November 8th, and ballots returned in person can only be counted if they are received by 8 p.m. on Election Day. Before returning a vote by mail ballot, it is important to seal, complete, and sign the ballot return envelope. EDU voting in person. The City Hall Voting Center will be open on weekdays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Tuesday, October 11th through Monday, November 7th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the two weekends prior to Election Day, and on Election Day from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Upon arrival at a polling place, an EDU voter can expect to provide their name and address to a poll worker, sign the roster, and be issued an official EDU ballot listing only the school board contest, along with a secrecy folder. After marking their ballot, an EDU voter will insert the ballot into a scanning machine and receive an I Voted sticker from a poll worker. Unregistered EDU voters can register conditionally and vote provisionally at the City Hall Voting Center or any polling place. In-person voting resources. EDU voters will have access to accessibility and language resources. These include accessibility tools for paper ballots, such as easy grip pens and page magnifiers, accessible touchscreen and audio versions of official ballots in English, Chinese, with both Cantonese and Mandarin audio, Spanish, and Filipino. An EDU voter may also request bilingual poll worker assistance or bring up to two people to the polling place to assist them in marking their ballot, as long as assistants are not representatives of the voter's employer or union and voters make their own choices. More information on EDU voting. The department maintains a webpage, sfelections.org ncv, with information about EDU voting and other helpful EDU resources. This webpage also features links to organizations who are part of the Immigrant Parent Voting Coalition who can assist with NCV registration and provide education on this topic. If you have any further questions about EDU voting, please do not hesitate to call the Department of Elections at 415-554-4375. Visit our office in City Hall, room 48, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., or write to sfvote at sfgov.org. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for your time and attention.